Pokemon is an incredibly popular franchise. The fact that so many people are aware of it leads to many different ripoffs, and one of those ripoffs is called Dogmons. It was a project created by an independent Brazilian studio, and it's a cartoon made to resemble anime, which makes sense because it's trying to copy the Pokemon anime. So as you know, the title is Dogmons. Now let's take a brief moment to break that down. Dog. It is a universal fact that dogs are cute. Super cute! Now what exactly happens when you take this dog and you give him some extra powers that he could use in battle? Well, my friend, that's where Dogmons came from. The story tells the adventures of Alex, a 12-year-old boy whose father had disappeared a few months ago. One night, Alex finds a mysterious diary written by his father. Alex travels to the home of his cousins in search of an answer. He and his cousins find a portal that transports them through time and space to the planet of Canis 2B, a planet that is thousands of light years away from Earth, home of the Dogmons. These Dogmons are similar beings to dogs, but they have powers to defend themselves from the dangers of the planet. Okay, so right away, you can tell that this is trying to take the popularity of Pokemon and bring an audience solely from that. You have a trio of characters, they befriend this guy, they fight evil, they go on this epic journey, there's Mons in the title, and I should probably mention that this isn't just a Pokemon ripoff. Like yeah, most of it is copying Pokemon, but there are some aspects to the show that are very similar to Digimon. Both Pokemon and Digimon were becoming really popular in Brazil, and the studio that made Dog Mons wanted to make a show similar to those two. You might say that Dogmons is no ripoff and it has absolutely no similarities to Pokemon or Digimon. However, if you go to the official website dogmons.com, I kid you not, under the link section, it shows two pictures, Pokemon and Digimon, and if you click those, it goes to the Brazilian websites for each one. Dogmons is not even trying to hide the fact that they're ripping off these two shows. Instead, they just put the official links right on their website. They don't even care. Take a look at some of the Dogmons you'll find in this epic Dogmon universe. First, we have Green Dog, which is the main one. You'll notice that there's a line called Changed Form Drago Dog. That is literally just the evolution. It's so clearly a ripoff. And you'll see on the very left, it says Element Earth. Each Dogmon has its own element, there are strengths and weaknesses compared to the other Dogmons. Let's be real, this is just Pokemon types. So as you see, this is the evolution of Green Dog. Not much else to say there. You guys ever want a fusion between a bee and a dog? Well, uh, here you go. I'm not sure exactly why this exists, but it's a thing, so, uh, that's nice! This is seriously just fusing two random animals. Where's the creativity? Now, there was an interview with the creator of Dogmons, and they said that this was supposed to branch out to a full franchise. It would have at least 17 episodes. However, as of today, there is only one episode finished, and two that have never been fully completed. So the clips you've been seeing throughout this video is all just from the first episode, and also the only episode. I'm not sure exactly how this would expand to a franchise. There are just way too many Pokemon and Digimon ripoffs out there, and I feel like not many people would be interested in yet another. <laughs> <laughs> Although I do have to say, the fact that these are dogs with powers is amazing because dogs are the best. Cute! But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos. Give a thumbs up and comment below to let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.